time. Now here with Kale Fenby from uh, the, the National Events Manager for Destroy All Lines. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. Good. Uh, you've, you've just sort of rocked up yourself. You're a bit, uh, bit stuffed. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's been a big week. It's been so a big week. Um, no worries. Well, um, yeah, now you're here, you've got a, uh, between a session that's just called um, Gigs, Clubs and uh, Rock and Roll. Yep. So do you want to tell us a bit about what that, that's all about? Yeah, I guess, um, you know, the, the nightclubs and the venue side sort of thing is, uh, is something that hasn't really been explored uh, or been talked about much uh, over the years. Uh, so I guess today's panel is talking, uh, I guess, delving into uh, to what we do, what services we provide, um, and I guess how young promoters can really get involved. Yeah, that's great. Because now with uh, Destroyer Lines, you've got different uh, venues around the country doing different things. You've got um, Bang, Snitch, Black Market, doing all different um, rock clubs, pretty much, essentially. Yep. Uh, what is mainly the aim of these rock clubs? The promotion of the artists? Uh, there's a few different, I guess, aspects. Um, and, and there's a few different reasons, I guess, why we do what we do. Um, we like to give young local bands a platform. Uh, we like to give... Uh, we like to give, I guess, young people, 18 to 24, I guess, somewhere to go uh, that isn't the uh, the standard yep. um, club night. Uh, we do a minimum of three bands a night. Uh, we've always got live DJs and whatnot. Uh, and the other thing is we like to tour international bands and national bands through the clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess uh, we're giving younger people um, the chance to see bands that they may not have seen in the country mm -hmm. uh, just because we have the ability to get them through the clubs mm -hmm. uh, and through our venues. And they've been quite successful so far with getting a lot of people through the door I believe. It's very very successful. Um, one of our biggest uh, events to date was in uh, at Plastic here in Melbourne uh, back in back at Easter and we had uh, 40 200 pairs uh, people through the club spread over three venues uh, that kind of thing is pretty unheard of, even from standard club nights, uh, as far as they go. Mm -hmm. So um, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting to be a part of it all. Mm -hmm. Remember that it was a pretty hectic night. It was mm -hmm. a lot of people going all over the place to you know, different venues. So the, the venues are very appreciative. You've got a good relationship getting these uh, club nights up. Yeah. Well, I, to have, I guess, their main night. So you know, utilising Saturdays, or Thursday, Friday, Saturdays at certain venues mm -hmm. is pretty. Is pretty huge. Uh, they could have, I guess, dance. Uh, promoters in there doing uh, maybe different types of figures or having a different kind of clientele but they find that our our uh, clientele are very respectful um, and they're very very easy to work with mm -hmm.